After driving 41 days from London to Mongolia, we cross the border at Russia. First person we meet, this guy. Tells us that the road is out up ahead. We ignored him. The road wasn't out. We met some folks later on who got robbed by this guy. There's a cute little rainbow on the left. There's some almost road going on here. A little bit of pavement. Rare. There were guys who did the trip on mopeds. Our first yak experience. We got really lucky and only had a couple of easy water crossings. There's us dodging left and right, that's why it's so wobbly. Holes, bumps, rocks, loose sand. There's a town. Most of the terrain in Mongolia is steppe. But it does change up a little bit in certain places. There are some mountainous areas. Uh, that was uh, heavy equipment for mining. Mining is getting ready to destroy the interior of the country. We're coming up on Uliastai where we had to have some parts welded because we struck a giant rock and cracked our transmission open. Here's my teammate Lex changing the shocks. There's some uh, horses being herded. A log cabin, which indicates that we're going to be coming up on some forested area, which there are a couple of areas in the country that have trees. There's one. Hi, trees. It's very nice to see trees after being in such a barren landscape. Yes, and even that road, you can tell by the dodging we were doing, it's full of holes. There's a volcanic region. More trees. Oh, pavement. You feel so good. You have no idea. After days of dodging holes, how good pavement feels when you get on it. It's almost orgasmic. And it goes away as quickly as it appears. This is a famous monastery. Some more pavement, so we're getting closer to Ulaanbaatar now. One last night of camping off the side of the road. And here is the beautiful Pig Road into Ulaanbaatar, the capital. Pollution is at Beijing levels, but the finish line is oh so sweet.